and welcome. So let's start right off by looking at some spectra I collected this morning. The sample was heptane. I used the Pike Smart Seal Liquid Transmission Cell, path length 0.1 millimeter, and the windows were zinc selenide wedged windows. So what do we notice about this spectrum? Well, we notice we have some really strong bands saturating. Well, that's fine if what we're interested in are the less absorbing bands, but we also notice there's a difference between these two spectra in terms of absorbing band magnitude. So what caused this? The cell is sealed, so the path length didn't change. Well, I can tell you what happened. When I went to fill this cell, when I removed one of the syringes, what I found is that I had some of the sample dripped out and I thought, oh, this is okay. It was just liquid in the filling port themselves. But what actually happened was some of the liquid from the cell drained out because I had the cell tilted at an angle. And as a result, now my cell wasn't completely full. So this is gonna cause a big problem if you're doing quantitative work. So your tip this week, if some of your liquid drips out of the filling port when you remove the syringe, go ahead and take your cell and hold it up and make sure the liquid level is completely full. So thanks for watching this week. We'll see you next time.